This is a feature from bbclearningenglish.com. For more information and our terms of use, go to bbcworldservice.com forward slash podcasts. Hello and welcome to 6 Minute English from bbclearningenglish.com. My name is Rob and I'm joined in the studio by Finn. Hello. Uh, today we're talking about managers. They're the people who boss us around. Mm. In other words, they tell us what to do, don't they, Rob? Yes. Uh, although not our manager, Finn. He's an example of a perfect manager. Of He's course. inspirational. He's someone to look up to and admire. Mm, yes, that's right. And he might be listening. <laughs> so, oh, yes, yeah. Apart from our manager, we're discussing the question, what are managers for? And we'll be looking at some related words and phrases. Now, I imagine being a manager is a demanding and stressful job. Mm, yes, but sometimes it comes with a good financial reward. Some managers do get paid well. Yes, that's probably why one demanding and stressful job, managing a football team, comes with a big financial reward in many countries. Mm. And for today's question, do you know who was the world's highest paid football manager in 2012? Was it A, Sir Alex Ferguson, B, Jose Mourinho, or C, Fabio Capello? Ooh, difficult. I think Ferguson or Mourinho. Mourinho was managing Real Madrid in 2012, so I'll say him. OK, well, we'll find out if you're right at the end of the programme. But now let's talk more about everyday managers, the sort we work with or for, hmm. people who run our departments, companies or schools and colleges. There are a lot of them, Rob. It's been reported that in the UK there are now five million managers. That's ten times as many as there were 100 years ago. So what are they all doing? Yeah, well, I suppose they're making important decisions for their businesses. And, of course, they've got good organisational skills. They have to manage their staff too. That's people like you and me, Finn. Mm, yes, a good manager needs good people skills. That's where they can talk and listen to a variety of people who all have different needs and abilities. A good manager is also approachable mm. and they deal with problems quickly and fairly too. So what do you think makes a bad manager, Finn? Mm, well, one that's concerned about hierarchy. So that's their position in the company. They want to show who's boss, but actually achieve very little. Rob, you've been a manager. What was it like for you? Mm, well, I was more of a middle manager. Mm. So I reported to the senior manager, but was also managing a small team of producers. So I suppose it was a bit like spinning lots of plates, so trying to do many things at the same time, hmm. speaking to different people, organising the rota and attending many meetings. All very important things, Rob. So maybe managers are necessary to keep everything working smoothly. And let's face it, somebody has to take charge and make decisions. That's true. But many of us think... We are managers because of our job title. That's the name we're given at work. It's something the author and journalist Lucy Kellaway has been speaking about on BBC Radio. See if you can hear some of the job titles she mentions here. Even if you don't actually manage anyone, your title pretends you do. So a conductor is a train manager, a technician is an IT manager, and even a humble administrator is an office manager. We've all become obsessed with management. So, Lucy Kellaway says some job titles are false. They're made up and pretend to be a managerial title when they're not. For example, we heard a train manager. Was someone who really sells the tickets, so what we call a conductor normally. Um, and we also heard an office manager. So that's an administrator someone dealing with paperwork and the day-to-day -day running of the office. And what about an IT manager? An IT manager is really a technician. So other job titles have also been exaggerated or changed so that people worried about their status can feel happier. Titles like executive, director or principal. Hmm. We could argue that everyone's job involves 
some kind of managing. I'm managing this program by moving the faders in the studio and asking you to read the script. Yes. So uh, instead of your normal job title, producer, what job title could you give yourself, Rob? Uh, how about the director of program engineering? Oh, how does very, that sound? Very nice. Yes, a creative director, please. Oh, even better. <laughs> Maybe though, it's taking the definition of manager too far. If we end up having too many managers, who's going to do all the real work? Me, I expect. Uh, well, there's no time, Finn. It's oh. time to reveal the answer to today's question. Earlier, I asked you if you knew who is the world's highest-paid football manager. I said, "Be Jose Mourinho," and of course, you were right. Hey, great! He earned <laughs> over twelve million pounds in 2012. That is a lot. Mm. <laughs> Maybe it's time for me to work my way up the career ladder, get a better job, and earn some serious money. It's time to go now, but do join us again for another edition of Six Minute English from BBC Learning English. Bye, bye. That was six-minute English from BBCLearningEnglish.com.